My name is Natalie Foster. I am an advisor to the Aspen Institute Future of Work Initiative and a fellow at Institute for the Future. I think about the changing nature of work and the social policy we'll need to support people who work in new ways. The next president will have to confront the changing nature of work. I think that's, uh, there's no question about that. We now know that some 35% of the American workforce are in some form of alternative work arrangement. And the number of people who are finding work on digital labor platforms like Uber and Lyft and TaskRabbit are growing um, a 46-fold over the last three years. Everyone who works in these ways works outside of the traditional employer-based social safety net. Things like unemployment insurance and workers' comp, paid time off or sick leave, all administered through a traditional employer. And it's an all or nothing thing. You work 40 hours for an employer or you have none of it. And that means there's a lot of precariousness in today's workforce. And our policies will have to shift to be more portable, meaning the worker owns the benefits that they accrue, prorated, meaning if I do a little bit of work here and a little bit of work here, it all adds up to a comprehensive social safety net, and universal, meaning it applies across the board, regardless of where I find my work or what tax status is associated with my work. So I think that's one thing that um, the next president will be have to be looking for. But another might be the idea that all Americans reserve, deserve income regardless of the actual job that they have. This idea of a universal basic income is really starting to gain traction among many. And I don't think this is in the next four years, but I think the next president will have to um, be thinking about what that might look like in the United States. <laughs>